guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've made another video, so it's definitely time that I did so. I'm going to be showing you how to make your own graphic tee, just like this one which I've made here. Now the idea for this came from one of my favourite clothing labels, Wild Fox. I really like the kind of clothes they have and the really cute kind of graphic-y um, designs which I have on their t-shirts. So I decided that I could have a go and definitely make this for myself, which I did. So what I decided to do was a unicorn tee, which I'm going to show you here. So if you guys can see that design. I actually designed this myself and I drew it on Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is actually share this image with you guys too if you like it and if you want to print it onto one of your own t-shirts that you can do that. How you can access this is by going onto my Facebook page and I'll have the image there which you can download and then use for yourself. So if you want to use this all you have to do is go to my Facebook page I'm just putting the link right here now and you can click on that and you can go there. Things that you will need to complete on this DIY obviously you're going to need a t-shirt. This was actually a full size t-shirt which I picked up at my local thrift store for 50 cents and then I just cut off the bottom because I wanted the bottom to sort of have that jagged distress look sort of perfect and have that kind of festival vibe to it so I'll definitely be wearing this t-shirt to music festivals when they're coming up in the Australian spring and summer. I'm going to need some transfer paper and I picked this up off eBay. I paid seven dollars and I got about ten sheets. Now within this pack I got some glossy sheets and I got some matte sheets. Just as a heads up the glossy sheets are much easier to work with if you've never used transfer paper before and these are really simple because all you do is pretty much get your design on your computer then you print it off and then you iron it straight on. You can use whatever print you have. I've just got like a standard inkjet household printer and that did a fine job and that's what produced um, my t-shirt. So any kind of print will be fine. You can actually use markers to draw on these and then create your own designs like that so you don't even have to use a printer if you don't want to which is really cool. Other things which you're going to need as well is an iron. Um, not an actual ironing board in this case. You'll need a hard surface so I actually just use my kitchen bench because you have to press down really really hard to transfer the design onto the t-shirt and the ironing board just wouldn't support you applying that much weight onto the t-shirt so that's why you need a hard surface to do that. So if you have your t-shirt, if you have your design and your iron ready to go I'm going to show you how you can go about making your own graphic tee. So you want to open your image up in Photoshop and the first thing that I'm going to do is flip my image horizontally. The reason for that is because obviously when you apply it onto the design, the design is going to flip backwards. The next thing that you're going to do is print your design off and as I said earlier, you can just use a standard household inkjet printer. So that's what I'm doing here. Once it's printed out, you just want to let the ink set, so leave it to dry for about five minutes and then you're going to cut it out. Just do a really neat job with the cutout because remember, whatever you cut out, that's obviously going to be showing up on your actual t-shirt. So now I'm just taking my t-shirt and I'm ironing out all the creases just to make sure I'm applying my design onto a completely flat surface. Take some time just to play around with the placement of the design because you want to make sure that it's in the right spot because obviously once you start applying the heat, you can't move it. So that's what I'm doing now. When you're taking the iron, you want to press down as hard as possible, okay? So really, really, really hard because the strength and the heat together is what's going to press the transfer paper into the t-shirt. You want to move at a pace of about two millimeters per second, okay? And you want to work in small circular motions. When you purchase your transfer paper, you'll be given a comprehensive list of instructions. So make sure you follow those really carefully because the instructions I'm giving you are just for my particular brand of transfer paper. You'll know it's time to pull the transfer paper off your t-shirt when it's completely cool, which is what I'm doing now. And then you can see your pretty design underneath. Now I had a few air bubbles left in my design and it's really easy to fix it. All I did was take some baking paper, I put it over the top of the design and I just ironed it again and then it got rid of all the bubbles and the design was perfect. So I hope you found this tutorial really helpful. Have a go and definitely try it out for yourself. Like I said, if you want to use this unicorn design and put it on your own t-shirt, you just need to go to my Facebook page to access it and I've put the link down below and I linked it earlier on in the video. I will talk to you in my next video and I'll see you guys then. So please subscribe. Bye.